And we're back with Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. I'm Nye, that's Indrion, and that's Trance. No base today. And it's no. time to make it to Yafutoma. You might say we've dropped the base. Ha! Oh. Now you can't pun this episode. No, that just means you you did. Doesn't mean I can't. But we have a one pun per episode limit. No, we have a one pun per episode quota. Damn. This looks like an obvious thing. So we're back to actually having discoveries to make. Yay, going where man has never been before. Except for, you know, the ones who actually live here. Yep. They Yafu don't count, though. Yafutoma actually has a lot of discoveries, some of which I can't actually access yet. And unfortunately, I am not yet Vice the Legendary, so there is a crew member I cannot get yet. I actually find it's actually rather cool that there is a crew member who will not join you until you are Vice the Legendary. And he hints at this, saying that he cannot work for any man who is not already a legend. Uh, yeah, Trance, we only have uh, three more uh, bounties to do. Nice! Yeah. In the entire game, we're down to three. And one of them's at the very end of the game. He's like four rooms before the final boss. Yeah. So while I faffed about in the uh, Dark Rift, we got Silver Spells up really high. And I don't find any reason for any character to have Eternum, because there's no point. So we're working on Red right now, so I can get a few more characters to have uh, um, Incremus. Right now, I'm trying to remember, uh, there's a certain... There's a ton of freaking discoveries in these Black Rock areas. The problem is, there is four Black Rock areas. I may just have to skip the other ones and eventually do a, uh, map for them, even though I want to do as many of these by memory as possible. Stop casting freaking... By the way, we're in the lands of the blue moon, so these enemies are going to cast a lot of blue spells. Well, they do look pretty nifty. I'd say that sucks, but considering that it's all, what, wind magic? Uh, water. Water. Well, water and wind. Because blue is master of both. This thing is a grossed. Yeah, I don't know. Where, I don't know who came up with these names either. Very bored translators. Yeah. Apparently, we'd be a surprise what they can get away with. Well, these are Jellycra. They look strange. Just more recycled enemy types. I'm getting the close to the point where I can start off any given uh, combat with Reign of Swords. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, what is this landmass right here? And is there something here? I don't recall there being something here, but there should be because this would be an obvious place to put something. Uh, let's see, where am I? Right, down. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, the Yafutoma lands, um... Are very are... monster-intensive, apparently. They're also very big. Over there. So I might skip getting some of these discoveries until, uh... I might skip getting the discoveries until I have the ability to ignore yeah. random encounters on the ship. But that won't be for like three episodes, so. Well, I'd simplify things. Yeah. 
I mean, there's a couple I can get immediately, but for the ones that I'm gonna have to, like, run around a little while for, the ones I have to find, I'm probably gonna skip those. In which case, we need to go north. Which means turning the ship. By the way, I showed this uh, last episode, but you guys didn't get to see it. Have you ever actually gone to the bridge while playing in the areas? Uh, once or twice, I think. You do know that one, only active crew members show up, and two, all of them make comments about the current situation? Nifty! Nice we made it through the Dark Rift. Control. I can search for items in this part of the world now, too. Ah, uh, good old Penta. Source of random crystals, boxes, all sorts of other nice little goods. Yeah, um, in the Dark Rift, for example, all the shutters are down over the windows. And you'll see, like, Domingo looking out through it. Uh, Aiko will talk about there potentially being ghosts, because there's so many shipwrecks. Cutscene. What can she hear, I wonder? Apparently she can hear walls. We're also about to be attacked. Of course. Mm -hmm. That is really badass boat design. And they are firing on me! Whatever happened to parlay before shooting? We're not French. We're also not Jack Sparrow. It's really more of a guideline. Mm hmm Okay, this is one of the most annoying fights in the game. The power of the blue moonstones allows these guys to fly at incredible heights. What this means is they can just dodge your crap. So when you get a command turn, make sure to use it, because that's when you can really do damage. And also, you can see how much higher he is than I am. Uh, make a point of using torpedoes. Now, are torpedoes used up after you fire them? No. Or? no. no. They're just like everything else. There's no actual ammo computer in those. Now, there is a use item called a bomb that is used up. Ah, uh, that's the one I was thinking of. The primary point of the torpedoes is just you can choose when they come down. The yeah. Tree. And it's also, torpedoes are really typically used for this fight and a few other minor ones where height or aim is an issue or where they can get out of your cannon range. Torpedoes are pretty much constantly in range. The problem is they have fairly low accuracy. But you'll notice this guy, uh, pro I don't know if it's the next turn or the turn after, but he'll start to go ext extremely high. Yep, there he goes. You can only fire a torpedo once per turn, basically. Basically just a matter of firing every so often to keep the torpedoes going. You know, some smart part of me thinks that, you know, the whole only requiring one MP per spell feels like cheating. Yeah, but it requires SP, and that's, I mean, that's even more restrictive than MP. And MP is really, really hard to come by at the beginning of the game. Out of combat, though, it makes for very easy healing. Yeah. Well, I, I like the way that Skies treats out of combat. You that, have enough time to do just about anything you need. Yeah. That once you're out of combat, you're no longer truly restricted. Because what's restricting you? Time, if anything. I like the torpedo bays in this thing. They look like a submarine's torpedo bays. Or a submarine's missile bays, rather. 
I know one of these turns he goes extremely high up for no particular reason. By the way, I can double layer torpedoes, which I find particularly cool. Well, I think this guy's gonna die this turn, but I'm not quite sure. Screw you and your magic cannon. Actually, pretty cool sounding uh, ship weapons from this area. See, our captain's better than his captain. Our captain knows to give orders all the time. Trance, have you noticed the cannon design for that thing? The enemy ship? It is pretty kick ass. Ha! You take 13,000 damage. And down he goes. And down he goes. That whole ship design is kick-ass, really. Isn't it? With a dragon like Japanese Viking longboat. Exactly, yeah. What more could you ask for? Well, the Delphinus in Japanese Viking longboat form. Oh. This is the enemy's flagship. Wow. <laughs> there are two boats. No, one boat. No, there's two. I think. <laughs> yeah, the answer one's... is yes. Right, yeah, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. This one is actually a uh, deck fight, and you do have to actually go down there. Feel free to talk to people. I mean, you know, they have things to say. None of it's very story storyline relevant. It's not like you know you're under any sort of time limit. Of course not. We're only being freaking boarded. Happens all the time. Actually, it does. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, we really should get better security for this place. <laughs> well, you know, if you if you go onto the deck in the Dark Rift, you'll find out the doors are barricaded, and, and if Vice tries to leave, he says, um, uh, it's not safe out there, I shouldn't go out there. Ten seconds later, it's a random encounter, and you go out there. <laughs> If it's safe enough to encounter random stuff, it's safe enough to go outside. This is Jow, and this is Mao. Because those aren't racist names. They're clones! It is their mission to collect 1,000 swords. What? Now, this Action. sounds really cool, but the game never ever uh, goes after this particular line again. Why does it do the little I choose option three. Thing? Murder both of you and take your weapons. What will you do? Hey guys, this is a swashbuckler choice. Which one is the swashbuckler option? Turn the ship upside down because you have magnetic boots and they don't. What, what game is that again? I know some game did that. No. Now, this is what? Vice being stupid. How about we kick your butts and toss you over overboard? Besides, you guys are unarmed. What can you possibly do to us? Well, it could be worse. They could be little wizened old men. Oh, crap. Vice has, up until this point, never seen an unarmed melee combatant. Yeah. So, I should mention that I haven't been keeping my heels up. Sophia's probably going to go down in the first turn. Oh. Real great job there. Yep, he's actually... Oh, I've never seen that attack before. See, did, he, did, he, did he focus Fina? Yeah, he focused Fina. <laughs> I like how the enemies are scripted to go after the weakest character. Luckily, as you can see, this fight is not actually particularly hard. These guys don't have a lot of health. How about you? So, we're gonna cheaty face now. Because Enrique has his special attack. And it just makes everything better. <laughs> I don't have an... Okay. Hey, Ika. Use one of those wrist crystals that I have. Better just kind of sitting there in my inventory. 
He's gonna use Justice Shield. Now this is Justice Shield. May righteousness be our shield. Shield of justice. Just like Aka using her Delta Shield, you use Justice Shield just about every turn. Let's try this. And the reason why is that Justice Shield has all physical damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, someone was saying uh, last episode of the episode before. Uh, Someone was saying, like, an episode or two ago that it doesn't count, uh, um, special attacks, and I believe that's wrong. I am pretty sure it actually counts special attacks, it doesn't count magical special attacks. Which is something entirely different. Yeah, this is the only reason you want Enrique in your party, is because he does this. He, he's not really good otherwise. He has a particularly interesting uh, ultimate move, though. Over there. Stop throwing ninja storms at us, you dick. Like, seriously, if it's a boss fight, you're never going to see me use anything else for Enrique, for the most part. There's just no point. And boss fight over. Because, you know, that was a boss fight. We did it! Well, it gave more experience than the ship to ship battle. And a free moonberry. So I guess it was a boss fight. I love that. Because it's not as if Vice hasn't jumped off his ship before. Ah, oh, they'll be back. Or will they? And up they go. This actually sort of tells you exactly how high blue Moonstone ships can go. I don't know, I mean, we haven't gotten a chance to blow up the cool ship yet, so clearly we're going to have to come back to this. Yeah, that's the point. It's a named ship, and we haven't fought it yet. It's obvious. We have to, we have to uh, attack them some other time. We should try and find Yafutoma, because this is going to be difficult. Well, if you keep on going north... You'll encounter another random fight. Because I need this at 12:10 in the morning. Hey, it's a Friday. Could be doing worse. That's Black Friday. I could be doing a lot worse. Or it was Black Friday. See. Not being an American, I don't have as much uh, sympathy. Or understanding, for that matter. Black Friday is weird. That sums it up pretty nicely, yeah. yeah! Mm -hmm. Oh, you crazy not American people. I'm American. I think I play the part of the token Canadian quite nicely. Ah, is it true that your heads detach halfway through? Okay, come on, this is a discovery right here. Can I discover it already? <laughs> yes, this wall is a discovery. Though I think I'm in the wrong section to actually get the discovery section of it. I still think Vice's whale tail sore is amusing. The fact that he, like, backhands at least one saber is kind of mind boggling. Yeah.
Is it only Tupo a as a weapon has always sort of bothered me. Because despite his silly lookingness at times, sometimes he's super effective, sometimes he's totally and utterly useless. Have you noticed that we occasionally get instant kill attacks for no particular reason? This yeah. is Yakutoma. You have found THE Yakutoma. There's only one. Right. First discovered by Vice the Blue Rogue. I mean, that just says everything about discoverers. This place has been here for a while, but Vice discovered it, therefore, he's important. Okay, except, you know, he was the first to discover it, except for, you know, the... How people many who live people here. who live here? <laughs> and Yafutama is, is implied to be a not a very... is to be implied to be not a small kingdom. Yeah, like, this is... kind of special enough itself. And the very, very Chinese-looking everything. <laughs> the very, very, very racist everything. I like the really, really old guy on the left. He's rocking one hell of a mustache. Mm-hmm. Aka's completely self-conscious. Look, it's a soldier! <laughs> and his thunder is completely stolen by Aka. Completely stolen. <laughs> Lord Mikado. Mikado. And now we're given kind of free reign after this cutscene. By the way, just from this picture, can you tell who the evil bad guy is in this room? Here's a hint. He's I not in the front or the back row. It couldn't possibly be the guy in the ominous black robes. I was just waiting to see his face. Now this king's smile creeps me out. You only see it every once in a while, but it's creepy. <laughs> Wait, he just said the magic word. He's an advisor. And oh, if you Lord. look at his face, you can tell he's not a nice person. Yeesh, what a schnoz. <laughs> oh, wait till, you, wait, wait till you see the side on view. It's better when he turns his head. That face, that mustache, how has the king not yet executed him? It's. Seriously. As a king, he's actually intelligent. Mildly. Well, he's doing better than a lot of kings. He hasn't demanded that you be thrown into jail yet. Oh, no, that comes later. Yeah, but he's obviously dumb as a stump if he's keeping that vizier around. Hey, he's not no, he's not a vizier, he's an advisier. That was yeah. my pun for the episode. I demand a refund. Advisier. Folks, I'm trying my best to set an eye on fire <laughs> with the power of my head right now, but it's not working. Please. If you think I should track Nye down and set her on fire for that horrible pun, vote yes on this video. And by yes, I mean thumbs up. <laughs> Go into the lights. Go into the lights. The MAGA sphere. Going into the light never really works well if you're a moth. We're going into... We're going into a defunct volcano. And the thing I'm going to chase is one letter short of magma sphere. Is that a coincidence? Mm -hmm. Like seriously, I'm actually kind of curious if that was intentional or if that was just the token J uh, Chinese sounding word. Lazy translators strike the game. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there's a moonfish over in this direction, if I remember. Yep, there it is. Moonfish, is moonfish, yummy, yummy, moonfish. There it is, okay. Moonfish. Okay. We have shit to do. And we're going to do it in the next episode. We'll see you guys soon.